Guys, today we're gonna be talking about 10 sweet tooth hacks. If you're like me, I crave things here and there, but today I'm gonna share a few things. I gotcha. So as a kid, I really loved all the treats, including Pop-Tarts. But, you know, me trying to be a health conscious adult, that doesn't serve me anymore. So, I found this guy. It's by Legendary. They come in different flavors. And it tastes like a Pop-Tart. I mean, it looks like it. It has a texture of it. It's not as sweet, and I'm okay with that. And it's macro friendly. So, this guy is 180 calories, 22 carbs, 20 grams of protein, and 8 grams of fat. So guys, if you want a macro-friendly option, switch out your Pop-Tart for this guy. Okay, this is one of my favorites. So I love Jet Puffed Marshmallows. One day I was just craving Jet Puffed Marshmallows, but they don't serve me and my fitness goals. I'm trying to transform, summer's coming. So I found this guy. It is Jet Puff flavor and it has the logo. So I think they actually collab together for this protein powder and the macros are amazing. 130 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, only three carbs and 25 grams of protein. And I'm already like, I think I'm down here because it really tastes like marshmallows. I love it. I use it as a base for my ice cream. I just sometimes just have a shake. I use it as a base for my protein pancakes. You could bake with it, super useful. You could use this as the base of so many treats. Love it. So I'm the type of person that really loves texture and as a kid, I used to have hot cocoa with those little marshmallows in it and now I could live, I could relive my childhood dreams with this Jet Puff little bites. They're so cute. I was super surprised these are macro friendly because I was, you know, I used to like those little mini, the mini uh, marshmallows, but not quite serving me right now. But these do because two tablespoons have 20 calories with zero fat. They don't have protein, but they do only have five carbs. So it's just kind of like a little um, extra thing to add a little umph to my coffee, to my, I make a, um, a cocoa drink and I put this in and it just adds to it. I also make protein ice cream, add this to it, smoothies, smoothie bowls, green bowls. I've used this on everything guilt-free. Love, such a hack. One of my favorite candies as a kid was definitely nerds. I mean, I was a kid that could eat a whole box in a sitting. <laughs> But now I found a way to have it, but I'm actually drinking it. I was so excited to find out it comes in these little sachets. So the one I got comes with, this is cherry, strawberry, and grape. And the cherry only has five calories, and then the strawberry and grape have 10. And what I love about this is it's so simple to just put it on your, in your purse or in your gym bag. And when you're feeling like you need a little something something, all you gotta do is add this with water. But I like to level it up and I have my sparkling water and it feels like I'm actually drinking a fizzy soda. But it's a macro friendly um, drink, but I still feel like I'm consuming nerds. <laughs> So super good. And I love that um, I could take this any time of day. So I love energy drinks and actually that's how I discovered it because I wanted to drink, I needed that like energy drink feel but I couldn't drink another energy drink because it was 8 p.m. So I had this instead and it's super satisfying, love it. So I'm someone that loves to wake up and hear the of the can, I actually did that today. So this is already open. And I love that that surge of energy, but you know, clear surge of energy. I don't want that like dirty, like scientific <laughs> type of um, liquid drink. So this guy is completely that. And I also like sweet candy as a kid. And this is Warheads. So it's like reliving my childhood cravings. 
but it's actually serving me and this has got all the good stuff and here it says carnit pure carnitine but all i know is that it just gives me really great energy i this is my go-to drink when i go to the gym and have my fitness classes or if i need a midday kick and i never have a crash and it comes in amazing flavors they've got swedish fish they've got sour patch kids so if you are craving um a, a candy treat have this instead so when i was a little kid i would always have my dad bring me a red slush icy drink on his way home from work and as an adult i still crave that <laughs> but I can't have all that sugar, so I can't believe it. I found this on Amazon. It's an icy and zero calorie flavor little guy. So it comes in cherry and I also have um, the, I believe it's the blue flavor. But anyway, this is my favorite. So you can bring this in your purse everywhere you go and it's super simple. You just open the cap and then you just drop it into your liquid and you have an instant icy flavored drink. So I love everything carbonated, so I actually have a soda machine and I just, whenever I'm craving a little icy drink, just put this in. But it doesn't stop there. You could actually, um, you know, like make a, a shaved ice thing. If you have a machine or a blender, just drop it into um, shaved ice and now you've got yourself a guilt-free icy or slushy. So I haven't tried that yet, but I'm super excited to. You guys gotta have this useful for so many things. Relive your childhood memories. <laughs> guys, 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 this changed my life in a real big way because I love boba and this is milk tea, taro shake and matcha and sometimes even the matcha latte. When you get them at like, you know, your, your favorite boba cafe, they could be like 500, 600, 700 calories. Just boba drinks in general. So, when I found out that this was a boba, I mean, not a, I mean, see, I'm convinced it's boba. When I found out there was a boba flavored protein powder, I said, no, no way. And then I tried it and I swear I was drinking boba. It is true, true to what's pictured and Across the board, they all have the same macros, 110 calories, 0.5 fat, not even one, 0.5. Six carbs and 25 grams of protein. And you're having your boba? Oh my God, talk about eating your cake and having it too. <laughs> have your boba too. <laughs> so let me paint a picture for you. It's 9.30 p.m. or maybe 10 or maybe 11 or maybe midnight and you are craving something. I got you, I got you, and it comes in different flavors. So tell me why I didn't know that Jell-O could be so macro friendly, because as a kid, I was eating like the full on one, but these are sugar-free flavors, and I've got black cherry, I've got strawberry, I've got key lime, and they are so satisfying at only 10 calories. And guess what? So those macros are protein macros in there, so, a super good alternative instead of like grabbing a bag of candy or all those other bad things that are out there and it's like I love the gelatin texture and I just feel like I'm eating like a dessert and the flavor is so amazing so I always have this stocked up I have at least 12 in my fridge it's got its own little drawer try it try it this is a lifesaver all right, so these are my last two little guys. I love it, but first, let me, let me tell, I'm gonna just bring you through the timeline. So I wanted a fun way to get a certain vitamins, but actually, it just, let me just be honest with you, I was craving gummies, <laughs> um, but I didn't want to ruin my journey. So I got these vitamin D3 because I know that it's really essential that these are one of the vitamins that we always miss. And it's super important, so I found a good way to digest it or be excited to digest it. And it's in gummy form. And I gotta tell you guys, it is so good. And I know when you see, oh, D3 in a gummy, ugh. It is so good. I put my stamp on it and I'm proud of it and I'm confident of it. And I actually had it test. You know, I, I was like, is it just me? And so, you know, I did a little taste test with my friends and they, they were shocked. 
So after I got this guy, I then said, I also need to have apple cider vinegar because I need to improve my gut health. And then I was like, oh, I don't know how it's gonna taste. But then I had a good experience with this same brand, so then I went to them again. How do they make apple cider vinegar taste so good? So if you want a fun way to get apple cider vinegar, this is your guy. And you know what, you're probably, if I wasn't here, you're probably gonna go buy a whole bunch and it's gonna taste gross and then you're gonna have to throw it away. I'm telling you, let me, let me find these so you don't have to. Don't get all these things that you're gonna end up throwing away. Just get these, get these. I'm obsessed, these are so good. All right guys, there you have it. There are so many ways to fulfill your cravings. It's not the end of the world and you don't have to end your journey just because you want to, you know, have something tasty. There are so many alternates and you know, I showed you 10 today, but there's so many more and I'm excited to share. So if you want more tips and tricks to stay in your journey and to have fun doing it, please subscribe and also comment below if you try one of my 10 little hacks today. And I'm so excited to see what you guys think. And till the next one, I'm super excited. See you guys soon.